Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Teardown. In a previous series of videos, we completed the campaign with every single mission at its maximum rating. Naturally, one or two of those missions we had to attempt more than once, but it was very rewarding and a nice achievement to get all of those done. And I mentioned once we completed the campaign, do you want to go ahead and do the challenges? At the time recording with this build, which is 0.5.2, there are two challenges for each individual map. One where you're getting chased by a helicopter and one where you have to blow stuff up. And it was a bit of a mixed bag. There were some people saying yes, some people saying no, and I did a Twitter poll and it was a complete landslide for mediocrity and didn't work out at all. So I'm going to make a judgement call on this one. We are going to continue playing the game because... Well, I very much enjoy playing it, and we're going to go through the challenges, specifically the Mayhem one, which is the Destruction Challenges, and we're going to try and get these, once again, to the maximum 5-star rating. But I think the ground rule is, if we get it to a 3-star, we can then move on to the different maps and then come back if we so choose. It depends on how it feels. So, for example, this Mayhem one, I loaded this up earlier, flung loads of bombs around, and got the 3-stars from pretty much no prep. So I think we can hopefully realistically get all of the 5 stars. Either way, Lee Chemicals, Mayhem, destroy as much as possible uh, in 60 seconds. Be careful during preparation because the timer starts when a thousand voxels have been destroyed. So I'll show you what that entails. So, for example, we load into here and we've got things like this uh, this this propane canister. If I just lob that at the sign, you can see that immediately we get just that sign alone on the bottom left, 932 for destruction. So even that sign there, if we basically hit it a little bit more, that now starts the timer. So, yeah, that's something we really can't afford. So we'll do a restart of that map. And we're going to do a little bit of a tour first. For a start, uh, we have these crates here. And if I take the lid off them there and drop them carefully, because remember, if these break, then we will start losing voxels and we don't want to do that. These are where we have these uh, remote detonators and charges. If we open up the back door here, and I am opening it up, I'm not just going to smash a hole in it because, once again, that will cause voxel destruction. And uh, we really, really don't want that. In the back here, we have, if we open the crates, we have these... Uh, we have these these bombs as well. So those are going to be very, very useful for setting up and around the map. You can see these are the red ones there. And then back here we have the green ones. So I'm just going to move that over. Hopefully we can just get that. Yeah, that's fine. And then open that lid and then job done. Yes, yeah, so we've got the green ones there. We've got the red ones there. And then we've got the blue ones back here. Each... Each of these colours has a detonator and two remote charges. Now, these charges themselves, you can't detonate them in any other way as far as I can tell. I've fired rockets at them, I've shot them, it doesn't work. So that means that they're very, very robust. Anyway, we'll have a look, quick look around the map, as I said. I shouldn't be, there shouldn't be many surprises here because I believe these are um, pretty much the maps we played previously. Today's beverage is a cranberry juice, by the way. And... Um, They'll have one or two changes, so immediately the first change I can see is that thing there. That is the Propane Limited. That is a very, very big truck with a huge propane cylinder on the back. Luckily, it's near all of these boxes, so... As I said, uh, as soon as you destroy a thousand of the... Oh yeah, we can open this. This is good. As soon as we destroy a thousand voxels, it'll start the timer. And then we have to get... I think it'll be a million voxels in order to get that maximum rating. So it's about the prep placing these explosives around areas where it'll take out as much as possible in one go. And obviously have it so that we are in a position to take out as much as possible. So things like this truck, I could drive, but I'm not. What I'm going to do is simply move these uh, these these things next to it because that'll give us, so obviously, some more explosive um, bang for our buck, if you pardon the pun, where, you know, we've got a lot of things near it, and that'll just send it into low Earth orbit, which means, obviously, more destruction. So that'll be good for us. And once again, just picking these up and moving them. I, like I say, I'm going to do a bit of a tour to see if there's anything else. I think there will probably be some more propane canisters around the place but obviously we need to be careful not setting these off and obviously if they fall over like that then they can start damaging themselves so i really want to avoid that i'm also going to apologize in advance because as soon as you get these exploding the frame rate of the game and the performance in general uh, goes to pretty much absolute nothing on my machine so it will be a bit of a slideshow once the once the uh, <laughs> once the run has started we have a huge cylinder there which to be fair we could probably we could probably remove if we take out that band uh, we could probably shift it but i don't think that is strictly necessary. Um, this vehicle here, I'm just going to back up a little bit just so I can get as close to that propane tank as possible there. Again, it's all about getting as much towards these um, 
these as we can. So let's have a quick look around. Um, I'm probably not going to move any of those. Actually, I'll probably put things like the the jacks and all of these all of these crates around here because all of those will be all of those will be detonated. I'm guessing most of this would probably be taken out anyway, but you know we'll do what we can. Oh, I'm taking the bottom one instead. I thought we we're going to be able to lift them all up, but uh, sadly not. You can quick save it and quick load it like in the other campaign runs, but obviously if we blow one of these up, then it's pretty much pretty much game over. Luckily, they are not. They don't break if a feather drops on them, which is which is good. Saying that, though, I'm going to quick save that one there. Uh, some of these obviously are, you know, I think that's metal. Uh, yes, yeah, so we can't get in there, so we may have to may have to have a look at alternate ways in. We have a couple of vehicles around here, and ah, big. Big propane cylinders there, and one up there as well. Hmm. Does this door open? It does. We're also going to go over there because that sort of flashing box up the top, I think, uh, blows up quite well. And I guess these things. What we'll do is we'll go for like just a, we'll just park these vehicles next to the cylinders like that. And these going up will, uh, yeah, that'll <laughs> that'll do a lot of destruction there. In fact, what I may do is put these boxes in the back of that vehicle. Although they are heavy and quite problematic to put in. They have got metal. They are metal, um, I think. Or at least they've... Looks like the... They're like metal, but with the... Um, it's a metal cage around it, so it'll probably be maybe, maybe plastic with a metal cage around it, but I don't really know. Oh! So already, dropping it there and destroying just a tiny bit in that corner is 213 voxels. So we're already nearly a quarter of the way to starting this run uh, when I didn't want to at all. So, yeah, I have to be very, very careful there, because if I destroy more than, more than that, it's going to be all manner of issues. Let me just... See if I can get this on the back of that, and it's very, very problematic with with items of this size um, and that form factor. We should be okay now with that one because we're just going to back these up. So just gently back it up. Is it going to fall out? It is going to fall out and probably break some more voxels. Yeah. So we're just that little again, that little bit falling off has caused us to go to 420. So yeah, that's going to impact us somewhat. I'm just going to gently back this up. It should be a bit more stable now. Yes, I think it is there. But I'm not going to attempt to move the other boxes because, quite frankly, I really don't want to be dealing with uh, those because, well, like I say, we're already halfway for destruction. So if there's any doors that we have to break open, we are obviously in a slightly precarious spot. That was a big clunking noise, and I really don't know what that was, but I'm just going to put this as close to there as possible. And I'm going to get out and walk away. Um, so looking around, we've got another propane cylinder there. This boat I can probably put somewhere I'm actually looking across that is a big a big big truck isn't it one of those uh, big propane canister trucks the propane limited so we can probably drive that to the probably drive that to the to that building there and that'll blow up quite nicely actually putting it next to these trees and blowing up would also be a a very very good option however slight problem with that is as soon as you start destroying trees in this game it tends to really really cause some issues um what i'm gonna do here is get this vehicle out of there i'm gonna actually park it there this is our big digger and can we can we just make it hmm, don't know what i can do here just make it so it's an easy form factor to get in and then put that down here so we're not gonna hit anything I'm gonna park it. See, it's hit the ground there and destroyed. <laughs> oh, it's destroyed some more. We're now on to 760 voxels destroyed. So we're very close to starting the run. So you can just see tiny little bits like that will massively interfere with your run. And if I hit anything here pretty much going to start it and I really don't want to do that. What I'm trying to do is get it parked between these vehicles. Mm, is that a good position to put it? I don't think it is. I really want it right next to that. But I don't think I'm going to do that. Because um, all it's going to do at the moment is blow itself up. I'm going to quick load it because I think I actually 
did that in the wrong order. Let's bring this down. And we're going to stop it here. We'll get this and move it out of the way. You can see that thing up the top there, arcing and sparking. You can even hear it. <laughs> this thing is not the fastest thing in the world. I'm also very worried about going near the ground because, well, it'll it'll break it. So here we go. Trying to park this as close to the power plant as possible without clipping it. That's gonna be as much as I dare risk, to be honest. Um, back in. And this I will park right next to this. With the boom arm as high as possible because when this blows up the boom arm will drop and then crash. I'm hoping anywhere. Causing it to drop and break more stuff. Even if it just breaks part of itself. I'm very close to the tree there. I'm going to probably clip the tree. Uh, clip a tiny bit of tree. Clip a 772. Seven, Not going to risk that any further. Don't really want to go any further than that. Okay, so. Quick save. Um, the question now is actually, can I get into this power plant? Where is the door? Oh, the door is there. Brilliant. The door... It does open, but can I get in? I can get in. It's not ideal, but I can get in. Okay, so there is uh, there is a basic idea then. So there's a lot of things around there. As I said, if we get a three-star rating, I'll be fairly content and move over to probably the next map. Because, you know, I don't know how much we really want to spend on it each of the individual ones, but a five-star rating is very much desirable. So I'm going to go back to the... I'm going to go back to the main truck that we started with. Um, I think I'll probably move those over as well. And I'm going to get some of the explosives and I'm going to bring them to... You know, I should probably bring one of these trucks. Yeah, I'll, I'll get one of these trucks here and I'll put them in the back. So, uh, get in that vehicle. Obviously, you have to be very careful because if we hit a lamppost, it's probably going to start the run. So, you have to be very, very careful on how you approach these. There we are. And uh, this is a remote detonated charge. So we're going to put that in the back of this pickup, like so. And same for this other charge as well. This will be the first set of charges that we will place. And they are now in the back. And let's bring these over. So this car is going to go right next to the propane cylinder. This propane uh, one here. And... Very careful. <gasps> that should do it. Alright. So there's one. So that's... Um, we're stuck. There we are. There's the first one. Obviously, they don't need more than one charge in here. So the other one will be taken out. And I'm going to bring it in here. Where I will pretty much lay these canisters... Quick save. All along this wall. Alright. So we're going to start blowing up this wall. Like that. To lay them like a set of breaching charges across all that entire thing. And then these ones obviously will do a similar thing. They're not going to blow up at the drop of a hat, I should point out. Um, I don't know whether that one would work when it's halfway up the stairs. Let's see if we can put one halfway up the stairs. You see I'm dropping it and picking it up because I don't want it to slide, which is exactly what it's doing. Okay. What I'll do then is plank, bring it up, <laughs> I managed to plank it to itself. There we go. So we got one halfway up, which is what we want. That one to go there, and that one to go there. I think that will suffice. And then this charge goes in this corner, and that should hopefully set off all of that. Okay, good. Oh, there's also more in this corner as well, so we will... Ooh. That looked a bit dodgy. Uh, put these next to these machines, because I'm guessing they've got some... Obviously, they're full of voxels. Whereas, if you blow these up, they're hollow. You know, there's, there's nothing inside them. Um, well, 
potentially nothing inside them. I actually don't know what's inside them. There may be lots inside them. Um, I haven't actually tried. Let's have a quick open. No, they're actually completely empty. So blowing that up is nowhere near as good as maybe blowing this up. So yeah, there is that. So two charges have been placed. I could probably place another car uh, around there as well. So let's just reverse this car in. Quick save. I think it's going to break. Yeah. <laughs> that is why quick save and quick load is your friend. Um, yes, that's not going to go there. This is going to go over here with the rest of this propane tank. Um, maybe getting rid of those pallets. Why do I just put it here? I think that'll, ha that'll have to do. That will have to suffice. Um, okay, so there is the first two charges uh, laid. Where else do we potentially have that's locked up? Um, oh, there's a couple of those big cylinders. And obviously it's right next to this crane. Yeah, I'm going to say I'm pretty confident I can move these myself. So what I'll do. Quick save. Let's get them moved inside. But obviously it's going to start breaking some of the ground as we drag it. Seems to be very heavy, that. Come on. In you get. This is just a warehouse full of boxes. But if I put it in here, with all of these, then it's going to be better than it was just outside. Obviously, you have to be careful on it rolling. Um, sort of lay some, almost like the deck cord, <laughs> going out to each of these. Um, and there. Now... Historically, yes, there was some more in here, so that's pretty good. I will put... Where do I want this one? I think I'm just going to drag it. I, it. Obviously, the crane is there to gorge you into... Gorge you into um, picking this up, but I'm re that's just not happening. <laughs> it's not happening at all. Um... Is that close enough? I think that is close enough. I will try it. Quick save. And let's see what happens if we blow one up. It's not low. It's not close enough. Quick load. All right. So at least we know. At least we know. I will bring this over. I think that will then do. Quick save. No, that doesn't blow that up. That, that's not blown up. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. We'll have to... Bring it a little bit closer then. And bring it inside. Because I'm going to place one charge in here. It's just getting over this little lip. Right. If that doesn't blow it up, I don't know what will. Um, I think also the crane can go right next to it. I could try and drag something else over there, like that cargo container, that skip over there. But there's, there's no way I'm going to be able to get that in. See all the grass to the left there? That's what I'm worried about. If I just, if I go on that... I'll do. Right, if I go on that grass and crush that, that's probably it. It'll be uh, start the run. So we need to get the other explosives, which are in the back of the truck here. So we're going to get one of the red charges and put it down there. Going to get the second red charge. Put it over here and then obviously the detonator will also have to be brought out and we'll put that with the other detonator for now so all the detonators are together right so i can i was going to fling that over there and that's normally what i would do because we've tested these we know they don't explode but if it hits a tree it's going to start the run and that's not what we want to do so the first charge will be set in here in between those two so that should hopefully cause a nice little reaction there and the second of the red charge. Uh, where do we want to place the second of the red charge? Well, we have the... We've got that set up and an explosion in there set up. We've got that one to that one set up and... What about inside of these buildings? Well, we know we've got some things back here. Maybe, that's a nice bit to blow up because there's loads of stuff in there. Nothing up the top. Um... 
What about this building as well? Uh, there's some machinery transformer in there, but it does look mainly empty. So I think we'll make this building, uh, we'll set this building up. And then I'll have to worry about the power plant. And then there's a couple of other buildings as well. And all of this, which I don't know what I'm going to do with. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'll pick the green ones out while I'm here. There's our detonator. Once again, I'm going to put that with the other two detonators. Luckily, it's not a physical switch that uh, oops <laughs> that uh, breaks when you or activates when you drop something on it, like some Acme old Acme TNT type thing. <laughs> right, so we'll bring this up, um, and this is going to be going where the power plant is probably. Obviously, this red one we need to bring inside. That uh, makes me a bit anxious. That's that swinging bit of the crane. Also, every time I turn corners, by the way, I'm aware that I could break something by hitting it. And that's uh, just probably what will happen at some point. So that's those put in. We will quick save it. And let's bring in the other detonator. Uh, or detonators. We've got two of these bombs. I'm going to put one on here because that's going to be a nice, a nice uh, one to blow up. And then the other one I'm going to place probably, most likely anyway at the top of the power plant because that's something that I can't really get to and I think I think that bit at the top of the power plant does explode when detonated or when shot so we'll we'll have to see anyway so quick save once again normally I would not care one iota about just driving this at maximum speed but if I just clip the ground and break a bit of this boat the run starts There's a concrete bit at the bottom there, I want to avoid that. It is a metal boat, I think, this one. Is it metal actually or is it fiberglass? Not too sure. Other compasses other comp composite materials are available. Ah, darn it. Just just, just clip the edge of that concrete. So I'm gonna guess with uh, I'm gonna guess fiberglass. So Take this corner. You see, it, it really doesn't like taking corners, but I think that's mainly due to the. Uh, well, let's do the handling characteristics. You best have going really fast. So. That's as far as I'm taking that. And that's where that one can stay. One of these, at least. And the other one is going to go up the top. And the question is can I maneuver up there with this bomb? I'm up here. Quick save. Yeah. And can I get in here with this bomb? <laughs> could not have parked that vehicle in... Well, I could have parked it in a worse, situ uh, worse position, but... Yeah. It's certainly a precarious one. Oh, is that, a, is that one of those? Oh, it's a propane tank down here. Right, okay. Fair enough. Well, that'll, that may go up when I blow the other one up. So we'll see. So I'm just making my way up the top here. And I'll place it right underneath that. Whatever that is. And there we go. Okay, so that is that in position. That's in position. We've got all of the other bombs in position. So that's fine. Now... Setting off each of those bombs will not necessarily detonate all of the canisters and give us that five star rating. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand about here, I think, because there's a canister there I can blow up with a rocket. There's a canister up there with a rocket. I can blow up those with a rocket and that one with a rocket. So this is where I want to stand and I can obviously fling bombs around anywhere. There's still things to place. But I think we're going to give this a go with um, with this setup. I think that's reasonable. And then obviously later on we will try other things. Um, so we've got all of this anyway, like all of these in the back. I haven't used those. <laughs> I 
Okay. So this is not exactly the fastest vehicle in the world. This forklift, electric forklift here. I'm guessing electric. But at least it carries all three detonators, so we don't have to come back again. Sadly, um, you won't be able to see much of the explosions over here because I'll be remotely detonating them from this area. But also, as soon as I start this, as I said at the uh, beginning of the video, this is going to lag out massively. Um, it's just how it is. So there we go. So detonators. One. Two. Line them up. And then three. So there's all of our detonators. All lined up. So, quick save. I want to test how I can fire the rockets. Uh, so that one over there. That's my best guess. Good. Good. Okay, good. <laughs> good shot straight away. So it's about, uh, what was it? It was there, I think. No. For, oh, well, yeah. As long as you get it around there, you're fine. But they have a very, very slow... Um, very, very slow muzzle velocity. That one is similar. I actually will get rid of... Oh, you know what I'll do? I might as well put this over here. Put it with the rest of them. Because it's going to go sky high as well. There we go. Perfect. Right, should we give it a go? I think it would be uh, rude not to. Quick save. Beverage. And I'm going to fire the rockets first because they take time to get there. Ready? Here we go. Lag. One detonation. Two detonations. Three detonations. Oh my good grief. <laughs> Frame rate is pretty much non-existent now. Yeah, I don't know how much uh, commentary or anything you're getting. Because I don't know what the frame rate is currently like. From what you see. But I'm currently on 54 seconds. And we've already done... Uh, 808,000. Oh, there we go. We're starting to get a bit more frame rate now as the game sort of wakes up. Um, yeah, okay, that's... Uh, I think it's time we just start destroying other things. Um, what I could also do, potentially, is start flinging... Probably, hang on, if we use pipe bombs... Oh, good grief! That's a lot of pipe bombs there. And... I'm hoping that that amount of pipe bombs will give us our rating that we need. And if not, I've still got some rockets left. There's it. There it is. There it is. So, we have destroyed all of what we need. I'm also out of... Uh, I'm also out of our usual pipe bombs. I'm going past here. You can see this is the utter destruction. That has been wrought by our uh, our placement of all of those propane canisters and everything else. Speaking of destruction, frame rate's not great, is it? <clears throat> and I'm just placing as many bombs as I can. And there's all of the bombs. And there's the tree going. As soon as the tree goes, frame rate goes as well. <laughs> and... I think, uh, apart from sh shooting holes in that, I think that's pretty much, yeah, that's a five star rating. I think it took two or three minutes to complete a minute of in-game. Uh, whether or not that's come across in the video or not, I don't know, because that could have been lagged out in the uh, recording ruin, but that is a five star rating on the first map, so pretty good. That is uh, 1,355,479 voxels, and that was on the Lee Chemicals for the Mayhem Challenge. So we'll leave it there next time. We will have a look at the marina. 
check out the mayhem and see whether or not we can get a five star rating and uh yeah <laughs> see if we can get a bit more frame rate too. Either way, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.